Hi everyone, it's January 19th, Thursday. You're here at the web content meeting for chaos. Um, I will share my screen. Good evening, ma'am. Hello. There we go. Uh, if anybody needs the minutes, we can pop those back in to the chat, but um, everybody should have those, I think. So feel free to add your name as an attendee if you like. Um, and tell us how you're doing today. I did not follow my own instructions, so there we go. Um, not a lot on the agenda today, unless others have things to add. Um, the first one is we just want to make sure everyone knows we are changing this to a 30 minute meeting. So it will be starting at the same time um, the next session, which is two weeks from now. Um, but we will only be a 30 minute meeting and that's to give a little space for the uh, commu communications working group to use this block of time as well for um, access to the zoom because right now that working group is having to use a different zoom because of um, such a full <laughs> a full schedule of chaos meetings so um, and also this meeting now that the knowledge base has been implemented the web redesign has been implemented um, there's not really a, an urgent need to use the full 50 minutes so um yeah that's why does anybody have questions or comments about that no straightforward enough easy peasy um and the second thing is oh go ahead shabam did you have a question ma'am basically i can see your basing website has is pending from last uh, about two many days so we can work it fastly, work on it fastly. Okay. Um, what, what are we want? What do we need to working on? To be working on? Can you say that again? Basing, basing repository. Uh, the repository. Basing, basing. Oh, rebasing the repository. Yes, ma'am. Because I can see that work is pending from last three months. And uh, I have also read this student then no one replied yet. Okay. Yeah, so, so Shubram, like this is the web content meeting. So I think, is this an auger question? I think like the questions yeah. that you seem to be asking are related to auger. And so. so that, 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 is the, that is the web. Yeah, I can, I, I think maybe we should set up a separate call, Shubham. Just to handle the auger questions. No, sir. Yes. Or is this a is this a question with the website repository? My question was with the Basing repository, and I can see it is the official website of uh, which is in the pro in, in the development mode is the official website of chaos yeah so the um the website repository does store some of our documents on the on our website um but the rest of the website is in wordpress so there really aren't a lot of um documents for some of that that piece of things. And then we have a, a, a WordPress plugin that takes information from GitHub and puts it into the website. So that website repository is kind of supplemental um, and it's um, just used piecemeal. And then we pull all of our metrics information on the website from the individual working group repositories. If that makes sense of to how kind of we structure things there. Does that help clear some things up? Oh, the badging website. Yeah, so the badging website is a separate project altogether because our DEI badging initiative um, needs a, a little bit of a different flow than our regular chaos website. Um, so the badging website has a there's a whole team of folks working on that project. Um, so I would maybe connect with them and I believe they there is a, um, a slack channel for that that you can kind of pop in there and connect with that that team which i can give you that information after this call i'll just need to look it up and okay ma'am please ma'am assign to assign it to me 
because I can work as well as on this project. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of let that team figure out because I know there's a lot of people working on that team. And um, so to coordinate those, um, I would maybe defer to that team to assign something to you. I don't know that I'm the right person to do that. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, but I will connect you with that team for sure. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Okay, and so the second thing on the agenda is to um, just let everybody know we, we think we may have solved the problem, hopefully, problem, the uh, conversation, the discussion around stable URLs versus um, our di um, the um, human, I can speak, human readable URLs that we're currently using that do change. If we change the name of a metric, the URL also changes, which kind of creates issues for folks who are relying on those stable URLs. Um, Augur is one of those folks <laughs> and other software projects to that reference the hard hard code reference in uh, their in their in their bodies of code. So anyway, we're going to be adding this link to the stable URLs to each metric and I think it will just go at the bottom and it will just say some oops something like um, uh, to reference this metric please use this URL. And then we will give a permalink um, that WordPress provides us. Um, Don Foster has um, pulled all of that information out. And so we're just in the process now of, of adding that to every metric. And so hopefully that will kind of help ease the pain a little for those who are relying on those stable URLs um, and also not require um, a lot of overhead on the website side of things as well. This is great. I'm really happy with the solution. And it looks like too, we're going to add, we can add the permalink um, in the spreadsheet too. So there's going to be a, a column. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, that'll be easier for you, Sean, that you don't yeah. have to go through doc by doc. You can just Sounds go. Like Fantastic. Yep. Don's a genius. I love that. <laughs> I know. I was like, Don, like, oh my gosh. I I DM'd her privately. I was like, yeah. thank you. This is amazing. Like, yeah. So, and she said that just gave her a chance to kind of mess around too with some code. But I was like, oh my gosh, this is wonderful. So, yes. Thank you, Don Foster, for being yeah. right here. <laughs> Girl, hero of the day. Kudos. The week, month. Yes. Um, the only, so like as a process, um, just point of note, um, I'll just put that in here just to document it somewhere. Um, we won't know the URL until we publish them. So then we'll have to go back and add that in after it's been published. So each metric will have like a little extra step to it, but you know what, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. And we're not releasing thousands of metrics at a time, maybe one or two. So, um, yeah, I think it will be okay. I do too. I, I think it can be pretty informal, especially if we have it in the spreadsheet is what I was thinking. Yeah. Like it'll be clear that a metric is missing the permalink yeah. and then we can just tag you to go get it. You know what I yeah. mean? Or yeah. Something. So I think it'll be pretty informal. Yeah. I mean, if, if Don, if she just takes that Python program and makes it a just on get out, we could just use it whenever we need to get. Yeah. Okay, any questions about that process, about the adding this to the, oh, that, I guess maybe that is a question. Do we need to add this to the template or checklist or anything so we don't forget to do this or? Can we, yeah, I would prefer to just, at least my preference is to just go ahead and let's get them, the ones that are currently released done. Mm -hmm. And then we can have the question about new metrics and new metrics models. I agree. I agree. Um, okay, cool. So we will not uh, Okay, so we won't do anything to process change yet until we kind of get a clean slate and moving forward, then we'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, I mean, my only hesitation with putting it like in the checklist is, remember, I spent all that time reducing the size of the checklist. Right. <laughs> so. Right. 
And I know it's just one thing, but I don't know. Every little thing matters sometimes. Yeah. And um, yeah, maybe there's just a lighter weight way to do that stuff. I don't know. I mean, running Don's program periodically just to get the new ones is in all likelihood the fastest way to just keep things up to date. Yeah. And I'm thinking like just run that like once every three months. Yeah. Yeah. And like, then right. we'll, we'll find it'll be a grand total of like six metrics. So it's not right. like. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I think I think that's the best way to keep it up to date. Fair enough. Yeah, and I mean, if a working group is like, "Oh, it's published," let's go ahead and do it ourselves now. I mean, there's nothing to stop you from doing that either. So. Yeah, yeah, and I do have. I think there's nine, eight or nine metrics models that I'm going to be working on um, posting to yeah. the site. So I'll go ahead and add that in. As I go, yeah. Perfect. So, so, perfect, yeah. perfect. Okay. Cool. All right. What else? People seem to really like the new knowledge base. We're finding like little bits and pieces here, and I've been opening issues um, in the website repository just as kind of like heads up to me to look at them. Yeah, a little bit. I think that was going to be my one comment here is making like just going through. So Kevin is adding the keywords to the metrics because right now it's only the context tags so just to help with searching and so i mean that kind of i feel like that kind of occurs behind the scenes you know what i mean there's yeah. no like ui change um i do think it's it would probably be good to just let the knowledge base or or the whole website sit for like six months or something before we try to do anything else with it just so we can capture the things that you're talking about elizabeth like yeah yesterday we found a dead link you know or like the content seems a little bit weird maybe we should update that or i don't know just stuff like that just yeah. let it sit for a while there is one thing that i really want to fix and that is when you have zero search results i noticed that um there's no real indication except for a real subtle um you know i can show you what i mean it was really bothering me so i'll probably work okay. on this. but yeah stuff like this <laughs> like it like it works it's all there yeah it's but just great so yeah it could be improved just a tiny bit oops let me just show you what i mean here really quick so if i go to the cuny base right now this is also yep. an open issue is to add something about dco because we don't really have yep. we don't have anything so if you search okay. you get zero results but it doesn't even like tell you that you actually searched right just, this is the only way you know is this right okay. here that's serious so like things like that are really bothering me <laughs> so okay. I want to fix yeah that. no that's that's exactly it those kinds of things that's yeah. perfect but as far as like big things yeah like maybe we should just kind of let it flow for a little while I think so yeah 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 I think so too. and I'm great at doing nothing so yeah, you, you know that like my, that my that's like my every day I think up I wake up and think about how we can all do less, how we can have yeah. meetings, <laughs> how we can. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that maybe I'm aging myself here, but I feel like that comes with age. Like, I don't know, man. I'm just tired, you know. <laughs> like, I'm, but, I'm, and there's I'm, still I'm, so much to do. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm always it's concerned it's that like it. if we do things, we we always lose. Like it, it's like uh whatever that thing is like first in first out or you know what I mean yeah whatever that one is like you you add something and then the one you were working on just you yeah. don't have the capacity for it anymore yeah. so yeah I'm that's my goal for 2023 new year new me is to try to just like be mindful of like where I spend my time and like yeah. and, and others too you know like just for the whole project like just be mindful of like what we're asking folks to do and um yeah just well and sure. it's kind of i mean even like how we were talking about organizing like i mean if we start organizing working groups like sophia was talking this is not website stuff but like around functional you know like around um ospos around community managers around there was one yesterday what was it oh event yeah, organizers mm -hmm. yep. yep um academic ospos like there are just and as we add those we probably need to think about like only having the or moving the evolution working group meeting to or maybe consolidating some yeah or something you know. like that 
it's I'm not sure what that would look like, but we can't just add four four more hours of meetings right. without, without I, finding some capacity somewhere. I was gonna say we can, but oof. Oh, yeah. it's just not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> All right. So what other things do we need to talk about today? Um, are you you did say you mentioned the metrics models? Are you kind of taking care of that? Yes, yeah, I have an open issue. I just need to do it. Um, so probably tomorrow. I usually kind of carve out Fridays for like those like heads down projects. Okay. So. Okay, and then are you? Um, it seems like we've been getting a lot of like issue, um, a lot of issue comments, whether they're in the community repository or they're in the website repository. Maybe the community repository. I just want to make sure that we're tracking those. Yeah. Uh, was there a specific thread? I tried it. No, it's just, yeah. you know, because I get the notifications. Yeah. In email. And I just want to make sure we're not missing anything that might be yeah. like web related that ends up in the community repo. Yeah. Because we do have other documents in the community repo for the mm -hmm. handbook. Um, I will say some of these issues, and I'm not actually, this actually brings up a good point, is that uh, sometimes the like there was one in particular this um conversation was kind of going we were going back and forth between slack and github baswati and i were so like half of the conversation was in slack and half of it was on issues that's interesting. So I, okay. I think that that's a kind of a maybe a project-wide thing and i i feel like with discourse also that's going to complicate things too so like we, we, maybe we need to better define where we should have those conversations um you know like or, or have some kind of like or like maybe guidelines um like where where is that conversation occurring is it through dms yeah well <laughs> some of it just because she wanted to work on it so yeah. I, like she and i were kind of digging down into like the finer details which i mean could have been on here but maybe might not have been pertinent to the maybe whole we, yeah maybe we should encourage like not using dms and then having this in the website WG channel, and then at least in this issue, we could at least cross link to the the channel and just say there's more conversation also occurring. Yeah, we could at least connect them because if it's a DM, obviously nobody can see it. Right, right. But it, and it was more of like clarifying a few points for her specifically. Um, so I don't know if it would have been helpful on here. There's also another uh issue that is in conjunction with this which is this Similar. and okay. so yeah so we were talking about this document right here but yeah that was happening okay offline so oh, yeah that's good. not great okay well, so can i see the issues real quickly here oh sure were there any that were website i see there's your zero yeah and this was mine um okay this is Shoya's. this one is new i don't remember seeing that oh three hours ago Oh, oh, I yeah. No. From yesterday. Yeah, Ruth was uh, um, working from yesterday. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay, it just seems like there's some overlap between the website repo issues and the community. There is, and um, because like this stuff, like this is in the knowledge base so maybe this should have been in the website i don't know i don't i'm okay with them being in both places just as long as we know <laughs> that they yeah. could they could show up in either place yeah hmm. we probably should be clearer about that though because that is kind of confusing why that's here i think just because i was working in this knowledge base stuff with all the community docs um right and i think that's like probably why ruth put that one here too yeah because that was a handbook page yeah well is this gonna open up the issues or what no nope, you're done <laughs> let's get up down what's going on why would i open click on like pull requests and try to go back or will it not open anything nothing's opening uh oh. Reload. Oh, it's either my internet or GitHub. I don't know. All right. Well, it's not your internet because you're still, you're still, still on Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you 
mean, GitHub certainly does glitch periodically. Yeah. All right, but maybe this is just something to think about. Yeah. Like, to not solve here. Yeah. Yeah, you're not, nothing's tight. Oh, there you go. Okay. There you go. I was like, oh gosh, what's going on? <laughs> ah. Um. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Because we don't really have any, you know, what something that would be helpful, I think, is like a doc that said when to use what, like when do we use Slack, when do we use Discourse, or when do we use GitHub issues in the meeting. So like that might help newcomers also kind of know where to post a question or an issue or something like that. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. And it's you know like it's not a big deal, but. If people you know use the wrong <laughs> the wrong use a channel that maybe is not the best but no and maybe that's like kind of that conversation we were having with the tour guides like yeah, as long as you know how to yeah. just encourage people if you haven't noticed like even sometimes in slack i'm trying to encourage folks to have like if it's a general if it's posted in general or newcomers like if it's an auger question like let's we can go ahead and move that over yeah 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 let's um you know what let me add to that to the community meeting um or maybe i'll do we need to bring it up to the community meeting well i'm wondering if we could just add like for the people who are at the community meeting like if you're seeing things that are happening in slack i mean or in an issue that you don't think is the right location yeah just feel free to top on and make a suggestion as to where you think it would be best suited because I feel like in the, on the in the handbook there is actually something about that. Um, oops, so if I can't type. Sleep. Uh, so let's look. <laughs> I have coffee. It's good. Newcomer bot. That's all that comes up there. Uh, yeah, that's not great. So maybe just something like about how we interact with each other here's the here are the three channels that we use slack github and or four channels get slack github soon to be discourse and meetings and here's where you'd use what you know would be helpful i'm actually gonna that would go in the knowledge base right so would i open an issue here if we just want to like document that somewhere right would it's like I? a circular question <laughs> it is and i still can't get to github anyway so okay You know, GitHub probably uses a content distribution network architecture, so I can probably get to GitHub, but you can't because of the region that you're hitting. Yeah, maybe. Probably that sounds that sounds valid. Hi, Toria. Welcome. We're we're about, almost actually done with the meeting, so your timing is great. Here's the minutes if you would like to see those. Feel free to add your name. If you like, um, yeah. <laughs> all right, what else do we have to talk about? All good for me. Yeah, same here. All right. Sounds good. I guess we're done. We we hit our 30 minute mark. We weren't even going to do this till next time, but Look at that. we're that's how good we are. We just implement things ahead of time. So we'll get more coffee. <laughs> I'm uh, going to. Yeah, oh, it's actually, yeah, that's where I'm headed. That's the coffee maker. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Okay. I'll right. you in a half hour. Yeah. Like, Later, likewise. Okay. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.